We left off last lecture, we had found Uranus through having our own telescope to look at a point in the sky over and over and over. And we had found Neptune by looking at Newton's laws and predicting a planet must exist. And it looks now, by 1820, that we've got ourselves to the stage of eight planets, eight in New York. And then we're saying to ourselves, well, just stop there because we've got the right answer. Why would we keep going? Well, see, one of the problems with science is that we do keep going. And because we keep going, sometimes we make mistakes. And then we have to go back to those mistakes and correct them. When we do so, we learn about the physics. But you got to make the mistakes first, then you got to correct them, then you got to figure out the physics. This is about one of the mistakes that science makes. This is why science is bumpy. Seven, six, five, six, eight, word eight. Middle of the 19th century. We found a new object. Ceres. It was discovered as a new planet. It was called a planet because it wandered relative to the fixed star pattern and it orbited the sun. It was called Ceres, C-E-R-E-S, between Mars and Jupiter. How come you haven't heard of Ceres as a planet? Well, good question, but it gets worse because shortly after that, we find three more new planets, Pallas, Hunes, and Vesta. They were all objects that appeared to wander relative to the fixed star pattern and that orbited the sun. Therefore, they're planets. They're not moons and they're not stars. Therefore, they're planets. Four new objects. Remember, if these are objects that go around the sun, they're planets. So by the middle of the 19th century, we weren't at eight planets. We didn't stop at eight. We had found four more. We know what these are today. We call those asteroids. But back then, we didn't have the word asteroid. As these were four things were objects that wandered compared to the background stars and that did go around the sun, they were planets. And so the Planet Club, for many years, had 12 members. And it didn't stop there because as our telescopes got better and we searched more and more of that part of the sky, which is further away from the Earth than Mars is, but it's closer to the Sun than Jupiter is, we found more and more and more of these objects that were kind of like Ceres. And that number four became five, became six, became eight. It went up, it went up, and it went up. And as it went up and went up and went up, the total number of planets we left for New York Light went up and up and up. And this is not a good situation for scientists to be in. This is an incomplete club that's clearly just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. How much bigger? Dozens bigger. Dozens of these objects that were like Ceres and Pallas and Hunas and Vesta, dozens of them, all objects going around the sun in their own right, therefore planets. We can't just keep on adding them in. So we have to do some way of closing it off and then learn something new about these new objects. What did we do? We took our definition and we looked at it carefully. Because when you look at Ceres and Pallas and Hunas and Vesta, all the other dozens of objects, the thing about them was, although they went around the sun, they were all really, really small. How small? A few hundred kilometers compared to planets, which are tens of thousands of kilometers. So if we want to retain the planet club as a, as a planet club, the easy way to do it is to take the definition of the word planet and change it so that we can kick these small objects out, call them something else, and then learn about them as a different classification of object. And so we did that. And so instead of saying a planet is something going around the sun, that was redefined to be a planet is something big going around the sun. We cleverly put the word big in. When you redefine the planet that way, these objects like Ceres and Pallas and Hunas and Vesta and the dozens of the rest of the brothers and sisters, as they are small, they're going to be called something good, something different. They were demoted. They were demoted to a really bad word, asteroid. Asteroid just means star-like, aster meaning star and roid meaning like. They're not star-like, they're star opposite. They're really small and they wander. However, this was the name they were given, asteroid, asteroid. And so that was able, we were able to use that to reconfigure the Planet Club. So instead of having these four 
small bodies, giving us a total of 12, which then became more than four, giving us a total of who knows how many more than 12. We redefined planet to be something that's big, thereby ejecting the asteroids from the planet problem, bring us back down to eight again. Note, that's a mess. Searching for science dictates not stopping. And sometimes when you don't stop, you make a mess. Like this four plus turning into 12 plus. But then in reclassifying the messy bit, you can learn about what they are. And that's what took us on a journey to learn about asteroids. It was the fact that we brought them into the planet club and then took them out. That led us to this discovery of a whole new group of objects we didn't know anything about. 